All right, everybody. Welcome back. Good afternoon. We are still enjoying our Monday after a divisional win. And after any Seahawks game, win, lose, or tie, we do snap count Monday. And it's time for it again. Let's take a look and see who played, how much they played, and what we can learn from who played and how much they played. So, uh, we're going to start with the offense here. You guys know the drill by now. You guys have been along for the ride for these videos for long enough. We're starting with the offense. 64 snaps. 64 snaps. Pretty decent. Not necessarily stellar, but totally workable. Better than last week. Better than many weeks so far this season. And of those 64 snaps, you can see Ken Walker... 41 snaps, and remember, he got dinged up a little bit in this game. Probably missed a few plays he would have otherwise played in had he not gotten dinged up. So 41 snaps, good amount. Charbonnet gets 24. So right now, now this is skewed a little bit because Walker's missed uh, basically a game, two and a half games due to injury, something like that. Probably a little bit less than two and a half, but somewhere around there. But you can kind of see the way the split has worked out. It's actually pretty close to equal. And if both players were equally healthy this season, you'd probably be looking at somewhere around 60% Walker, 40% Charbonnet. That's where you'd like to be. It's a little bit frustrating right now because we have no run blocking up front whatsoever. So Charbonnet is pretty much useless. He, he can't do anything without decent run blocking. So... It's certainly frustrating that we're not getting good production out of him. But in terms of the ideal split, I think we're basically where we want to be there. Uh, still not thrilled with the fact that uh, McIntosh can't see the field. That's a guy who I thought we were going to give a handful of snaps a game. And either we don't believe in him at all, and we just don't trust him to do anything, or it's just a simple matter of... We like our top two guys so much that we we want them on the field constantly, which that may be true and that wouldn't be a bad thing, but you can't say either guy's setting the world on fire. And I do include Walker there. Walker's a great player and he's playing really well, but I don't think he's completely blameless in some of the stuff that's going on here. And of course, neither is Charbonnet. In particular, his run blocking yesterday was... Um, disastrous or excuse me his pass blocking was disastrous and that doesn't need to be happening okay so going to wide receiver you actually see that there was less of a load on the wide receivers at the top than we would typically see 64 snaps and the leading snap getter was metcalf by a pretty good amount with 50 which is really not that much um, 14 snaps where he's on the sideline and the main reason why this happened was because the Seahawks went two tight end a lot yesterday. They did a lot of two tight end stuff, more than they typically do in a game. And that had a little bit of a trickle down effect where the receivers didn't play as much. <coughs> so you end up with Metcalf playing 50 snaps instead of typically he'd play at least 55, maybe even 57, 58 in a game like this. Lockett, 41 snaps, JSN, 42 snaps. So everybody in the receiver core got a little bit of a break in this game. Now, what we did did not work because the offense did not have a good game. We didn't even, even have 300 yards of total offense. But you can see that they were trying to mitigate the offensive line problems in pass protection and, I'd say, run blocking with extra tight ends. And it um, didn't really pan out. So, other than that, we did get a good amount of Cody White, and we did get an okay amount of Jake Bobo. 17 snaps for White, and 15 snaps for Mr. Bobo. So, that's actually statistically meaningful, right? Unlike last week, where we just rode Metcalf, JSN, and Lockett basically the whole game. In, uh, in this game, it was a uh, decent amount of White and Bobo. They didn't do a lot, but they did get on the field. So I don't know if that's something that we are trying to read into here. What, what it tells me is that we're really trying to find guys who can block on the outside. 
kind of like the reason why we went to a lot of two tight end sets. I, I feel like we were doing this in an attempt to get some receivers on the field that could block. Again, I don't think it worked very well, but I suspect that was the strategy. Uh, tight end, tight end, tight end. Um, like I said, there was actually quite a bit of tight end stuff in this game. Even with Noah Fant out, A.J. Barner basically played the whole game, and Pharaoh Brown played about half the game. And A.J. Barner... Um, he, you can still see he's a rookie, right? He's a rookie, and that includes some stuff that isn't what we're hoping for. But he's um, still a young player. He's still got a long list. He's still got a long way to go to be able to improve those areas. So I'm not worried about it. Still like what I see from him overall. Farrell Brown frustrates me. He did have a couple of nice plays in this game, but also had a couple of penalties. Um, it, it's not really working out here, but you can see the strategy at play, right? You can see the strategy here. Uh, Mabry got three snaps as well, by the way, so he got on the field a little bit. Um, he's probably going to go back to the practice squad as soon as Fant comes back, which is likely going to be next week, of course. But, um, yeah, that's, um, that's what we got cooking there. And the offensive line, a little bit of mixing and matching just because of the Anthony Bradford injury. And that injury looks pretty serious. He's probably going to miss some time. So four snaps for Bradford, 60 for Haynes. I thought Haynes played okay, by the way. <coughs> um, so that was an encouraging sign, but we've still got a long way to go with him if he's going to become a good player. And the only other notable thing would be Sundle played four snaps in jumbo packages and Again, you can't really say it worked. Not much on the offense worked. What worked on the offense in that game was uh, JSN, m to a pretty good extent, Metcalf, and, and Geno. And maybe you could say K-9 in the passing game a little bit. But mostly the offense just, whatever they tried to do against that Cardinals defense that is good but not great, they, they had problems and they got to go back to the drawing board. Okay, defense. Defense, uh, a lot of stuff here that is pretty exciting. Uh, 58 snaps for one. 58, very close to a season low. And the only reason why it's not a season low is because of that Lions game when the Lions were scoring so fast that it wasn't a good thing that they only had 53 plays. So 58 snaps is really good. Uh, you look at the defensive line, nobody played more than 40 snaps, which is awesome. We love that. We really like that, especially because you saw how good Leonard Williams was in this game. He didn't, he, he had massive production in this game and he only needed 40 snaps to do it. That is so good. I got no words for how good that is, man. 40 snaps and he produces like that. Jaron Reed, 30 snaps. I think Reed got dinged up in this game. Maybe he plays a little bit more if he doesn't get dinged up, but 30 snaps for Jaron Reed, half the game, really good. Murphy, only 24 snaps, which that's actually lower than I would have expected. I, I don't know if we need to read into that, but that is two games in a row now. He's played half or significantly less than half of the game. Um, I don't know if we just are trying to um, prevent him from hitting that rookie wall, but he hasn't even gotten to 300 snaps this year. And sometime next week, he'll probably get to about 300 you would think you could ride him a little bit more, but it, we're, we're hesitant to do that, which it's obviously not a bad thing. But I am kind of, uh, I am looking at this and wondering what this means for Byron Murphy. And um, we saw a little bit of Roy Robertson Harris, 17 snaps, pretty decent. And Jonathan Hankins gets 12. And by the way, Hankins actually got, I'll spoil a later video today, really good grades today, PFF. So maybe that worked. Maybe that's all he can do. Maybe he can only play 12 snaps a game and that's a season low for him. <coughs> and you can see the defensive line, nobody played that much. Even with 58 snaps, you can see that we didn't get a ton of defensive line guys on the field in this game and we still stopped the run, which tells you that they're doing something radically different than you saw in previous games. This is so good. I, I I can't even really describe how good it is that this team is able to stop the run without putting a giant load on these um, defensive uh, linemen. 
Linebacker, very simple. Ernest Jones plays every snap. Tyrese Knight plays 47 snaps. So you have about 11 snaps in this game where you only had one linebacker on the field. Again, you're going a lot of defensive backs, not a lot of guys in the front seven, and you're still getting really, really good run stopping. Like that, that is something to be excited about. That is an indication that the players that you are putting out there are playing well and that um, Mike McDonald is doing the right stuff at the top level. Uh, let's see here. Uh, edge rusher, Boye Mafe, 43 snaps. Derek Hall, 38. Raymond Jones, 34. Again, nobody's getting overworked. Nobody plays more than 45 snaps. Nobody's playing the whole game. And that's with Nwosu still being out. And maybe we get Nwosu back in the next couple of weeks here. But this uh, edge rusher room, uh, they're, they're not getting pushed too hard right now. Everybody's getting to play a normal number of snaps. And they're both benefiting tremendously from it. I thought Mafe played really well. I thought Hall played really well. And I, I think Draymond's playing well right now too. So it's working. If they can keep this up the rest of the season, then even without Nwosu doing anything impactful, they're going to be okay. Uh, cornerback. Cornerback, again, very simple. Witherspoon played every snap. Woolen played every snap except for one when he got hurt. Um, I, I think that was the one snap he missed where he left the game with an injury. And you can see he uh, very quickly came right back in. So nothing to worry about there. And Josh Joby played... a a good amount more than half of the game, 35 snaps, about what you would expect against this Cardinals team, maybe even a little bit more, right? And this Cardinals team, they did abandon the run probably a little bit more than they should have, but you still managed to um, get your third corner on the field close to 60% of the time. That's uh, pretty notable. And safety is big time. Safety Julian Love plays the whole game. Kobe Bryant plays the whole game. Rayshon played half the game on the dot. So that means you've got plays in this game where you had three corners and three safeties on the field. And I know Rayshon's playing a linebacker role on some of those snaps where he's in the box, but he's still a safety. He, nobody would ever say Rayshon Jenkins is a linebacker. So Rayshon Jenkins, almost 30 snaps in this game. I'm not saying he played particularly well. In fact, he might be one of the guys that you single out for not playing that well, but he's got to get back into the swing of things. He's missed a month, a little bit more than a month, actually. So you're looking at this and you're just going, okay, they they went big with the defensive backs. They put a lot of defensive backs on the field in this game at the expense of front seven guys, and they still shut down the run. They still got pass rush. They didn't allow any big rushing plays except for the third and 18, 14-yard run, which that's a give-up play. That doesn't mean anything. So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, look, look at these numbers. It's it's uh, telling a very compelling story. So be excited, people. Be excited. They're not having to make sacrifices to effectively stop the run right now. If anything, the sacrifices they're making should be to the run defense, and it's not happening. So, great news. And these snap counts on defense are beautiful. I love what pretty much everything I see here. All right. So, more videos coming later. But um, let me know what you guys think. That's Snap Count Monday. See you guys later. Go Hawks. More stuff coming very soon.